What's up everybody in the War Commander community? This is Delba Phoenix here. Just got a few, uh, just some things I want to go over with this new unit, the Lancer. So, um, just wanted to showcase how this unit kind of works. So if I want to target something, like if you move him around, he freely moves. But when you target something, he takes a setup time before he can fire, sometimes. And then uh, if you want to move him again, it takes some, quote, breakdown time. So watch, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to fire one shot. So it takes some time to set up. Now he fires. And he's going to continue to fire until the target's dead or until uh, I tell him not to. Where the target gets out of range, like it would just. Oh no, there it is, it's still good. Alright, so he's going to continue to fire. Now, if I go to tell him to move, it takes a little bit of time for him to move. So, I think I'm going to click that again. And then if I click him to move, It takes him takes him quite some time to break down. Now, if I, I'm going to target this, now I'm going to retarget over here. See, it takes a little bit of time for him to set up, and then so I'm going to go way back here. So I click that. So he's breaking down right now. Now he's got to move. Now he's setting up again. And then now he's going to fire. So, that's kind of how they work. And whatnot. So, yeah. They work better if you click something and then click another target if you want to move them to that target. But they're really good for keeping stationary and kind of being suppressive fire or not. Like, set them up kind of like this to guard an area. Like, you know, like, because they're, what do you call it? Like, think about how you would use a siege unit in, in real life. Um, you're not going to attack, uh, how do I put this? The siege unit's not going to replace the foot soldiers. The siege unit's going to fire from far, far away and basically protect an area. And so see how my my uh, Lancers are doing right now? They're kind of protecting the area. Um, so this one's got tech, so that's why he was able to shock those uh, drones, which apparently the drones can get shocked. That's good to know. But yeah, see? This is kind of how you want to use these guys, like to, to kind of fend off attackers like that. So if you want to use this with the Shadow Ops tune, you know, the Darkstorm, Nova, Romero, that kind of stuff, um, set these guys kind of back with the Darkstorm, if you're not attacking with the Darkstorm. So this way, stuff that spawns on the ground, like the, uh, what's it, the Hermits, the little Ultra Tank looking things, and the events, these guys would probably be really good for them. So you have your Darkstorm, um... So we're going to pretend like this is my dark storm. <clears throat> we'll have to use our uh, imagination, of course. But I'm trying to get them all together like one. There we go. So this big this big guy is my dark storm. And so what you would do is you'd have your dark storm here. And then his aura. No, oh, no, hey, hey, buddy. No, move. Move, buddy. Um, anyways, you have him, you have your Dark Storm kind of like here, and then have these guys close to the Dark Storm within the aura, so this way they can shoot at anything that's spawning. And then you can take it out. And so now we're going to go ahead and. So I've double clicked everybody, and then I've told them to fire on that one Cerberus. So everybody's going to. 
fire and everybody takes some time to reset, you know, to move. So now I'm going to tell them to click this Cerberus. So everybody's going to break down. Everybody's going to re-aim. And then there are, uh, some of them have to move up a little bit. And then notice they take a little while to fire as well. But now they're going to, once you set them, they're going to continue to fire and fire and fire until, um, you know, the threat's gone. Or until they die. Or until I tell them to tell them to move. So like right now, I, let me switch sides. Let me move him out of the way. Let's see, yeah, they're, they're going to give chase because I put them on stand ground. So they're going to just give chase because I clicked for them to attack. Oh, yeah, that's actually um, what it is. I clicked, I clicked for them to attack, and that's why they're giving chase. Uh, let me see if I can move this guy out of the way. There we go. And now some of them are turning around. Yeah, they're all turning around because I've they've reached like their maximum distance they can chase or something. I don't know, but now this guy's being aggressive, but the others are just stopping. But now, watch when I put the Cerberus in the middle again. See, they just automatically target. So you really don't want to, you don't, yeah, you really don't want your lancers moving too much. You want them kind of more defending an area, like this. So as I try to walk through, the lancers are trying to make, my, they're trying to kill my Cerberus, and they're once you get them close, then they're able to kill moving targets like that. So yeah, it's a little uh, update on the lancers, kind of how to use them and whatnot. So yeah, getting um. Get out there and use your lancers. I don't really know a good way to end this, so...